All right. Hello, everyone. Last of the bracket matches for the day. Uh, I think technically the one that happened first. <laughs> yep. Chronologically. Alright. So let's oh, see. That 6H seemed like a misinput. <laughs> it was a peculiar choice off of Pine. Oh, okay. bad so, 5H. Let's see. Starting starting right here at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye out for every 5H that should have been Far Slash. I'm talking to you, Miles. Good Far Slash. Even if it was the wrong con confirm, that is like, you got the important part for now. Yeah, I think. Right! Over his I remember this were happening. Wrong. Um, they're just gonna keep at it, so. Yep. Um. Yeah, okay. doing. I think having the muscle memory for the neutral far slash is more important than getting the confirm right every time. Okay, so the things that I want each of you guys to watch out for is Devil's Truth Stare. Uh, yours is far slash. Yo, good first block. And good far slash is the punish. Uh, so it's Obero being, like, not pressing buttons. That when you need to. Real that quick, was a good far slash. That was a that was a that was a surprisingly uh, productive pine throw to get rid of the ball. Yeah. Just not just not like you lose the pine. That sucks. But you were gonna lose the pine anyways, and you don't have to block. Mm -hmm. Good match out there, Obero. Careful, I think you might have been throwable there, range-wise, DTS. The pine interactions with the ball are interesting to me. Uh, it should just be that it explodes any time it touches one of them, because it touches yeah. a projectile. Oh no, it does, but just like the ranges they happen at and the situations where they negate each other are interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I respect the immediate, oh shit, I'm in the corner. <laughs> Good 2H under the ball. Mm -hmm. Yep, 2H is your evasion move. Good throw. Yep. 2 hit, 2D. Oh, yep. Yeah. Another good one. Definitely showing that you're doing that, like, on purpose to avoid them. I uh, probably don't do it against the charge one, though. Okay. S sniper crouch the 6P angle on the ball. Good okay. jump. So, remember to FD. Real quick. I want you to look at his health. Devilish Truth Stare. I want you to look at his health, and I want you to look at your meter. Bazooka. Uh, okay, <laughs> or so Roman Cancel. Bazooka I don't know which one is, is better. Bazooka is the hard mode version, but Roman Cancel, <laughs> run up, close slash, yeah, should yeah. kill here. Oh, even if you had to end up like doing 5k o OTG, that would kill. If you really wanted to, uh, you could do this... Red Roman cancel, and hit 5H more. Yeah, hit it <laughs> Hit it on like 5H, like 3 or 4. Yep. Because only 4 does the blowback. But that's something to watch for in the future. Uh, meter awareness is... Uh, yep. F I remember that ending. Yeah, meter awareness is something that you just need to pick up over time, but it comes with experience. Yeah, FDing actually I think would have won the round. Venom's charging. What's up? I think FD would have run, won the round, actually, because the Pine immediately blew up. Uh, let me Let's see, check. did the Pine just blow up because of... Yeah, what's, what's the timer here? ...her getting killed? Uh, uh, no, no, the timer is... No, no, it wouldn't have won it. It blows up because she got hit. Uh, so it blows up specifically because she dies and the timer keeps going through this. Yeah, yeah, so it wouldn't have won the round, probably. Yeah. It had, like, a second left on it. <laughs> Bold choice. <laughs> That's what I will call Worked, it. But yeah, <laughs> definitely a bold choice. Uh, do not stand up into the gun. You are safe. Yeah. Just press um, 2H. So, in this situation, right before you stand up. There you go. Okay, so you stand up and block this, right? At this point, you can press down, back, and slash, and you will crouch out of the way of the 5H, and then you will hit her with 2S. Because if you can see her foot here, I'm going to put the mouse on the screen. So okay, here's her foot. Like, roughly here is where the hurt box of her foot ends. That is well within 2S range. 
You could probably just crouch 2D. I think, I think after his blocks, he might have gotten, gotten pushed out of it. But definitely... Oh, uh, no. 2S no. still would have hit there, yeah. No, yeah, 2S still would have hit there. Yeah. If someone 5Hs and you block it, or they whiff it... Uh, sorry. If an elf elf 5Hs and they block... And you block, or they whiff it, uh, it's murderizing time. Good, like... Hell, you should ball. probably counter hit 6P it. Uh, 100%. Definitely not at like the max range, but yeah, you could. A venom might be able to. Let's be real. Uh, you could de if you're like inside of it and you've crouched the first shot, you can uh, like instantaneously change from crouch state into six P, and I'm pretty sure that'll work. Yep. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Okay. Too late on the so, ball. So, uh, word of warning: when a projectile hits pine, pine explodes. This explosion is giant, and it is 11 frames. Hit it with a thing that's not a projectile, and you will bounce it away. Yep. Hit it with a projectile, and that happens. Uh, you could QV it, I believe, because QV is uh, armor. It's projectile uh, armor, I think. I think QV it's got armor has point. a projectile hitbox that ignores people, so it would most likely have caused the same uh, I'm not sure that it's not counted as uh, projectile armor, which could delete it, but it's it's mixed. I would lab that whether or not because it's really mixed whether or not projectile armor will interact with it correctly or not. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, and yeah, good to us in the scramble there, DTS. I'm gonna start calling you Stare. That's faster. I mean, okay. the rest, so the rest gonna... of the name words in his tag are, uh, are... I like called truth, I uh, guess, but... The rest of the words are adjectives, so they are describing a stare. Okay, so in this situation, I want to break it down, uh, for stare. So, okay, you block, and then you make Obero block close slash, and you have the pine out bouncing back in. This is a very, very good situation for you. So, you do close slash... Yep, and then you do 2S, which this or far slash or 2D are all fine, because they push Obro back into the pine. And then if he presses anything here, he risks just exploding with a counter hit. So most likely, he won't, uh, if he even had the opportunity to. And then the pine goes off. So what you can do right here is instead of walking back like you're doing, just because you know the pine is going to go off, you just run forward and make him block 5k point blank, and you just got a free pressure reset. Yep. Uh, you try and do it, but... So you... It looks like you weren't aware that the pine was going to go off and do this, so you tried to react to the pine going off and run in. Uh, unfortunately, that was too slow, and give Obro the ability to poke out, especially since he went for 6p, which is slower. But if you had hit 2s, known that the pine was going to go off, and this is just, again, something that comes with more experience and watching for the pine... Uh, you could have probably run up 6P'd as a block string, and probably would have worked. Uh, also, Obro, what did you hit here? I think it was... Yeah, okay. This is why... So each of you, Obero, it's 2K. Actually, yeah, both of you. 2K or 5K, doesn't matter which. Just get in the habit of your 5K and 2K inputs are kick, slight delay, slash. Because no matter what, you want the slash to come out if you hit or block. Sorry, if you hit or they block, you want your slash button to come out anyways, because it gives you time to confirm, it gives you extra block pressure, and hey, it combos if you don't react to it in time. Because right here, you hit 2k, and it even counter hits, so you like definitely could get something off this. But because you weren't sure it was going to hit, and you didn't just hit the next button anyways, uh, Miles is able to block and then immediately 2k, and if he continues the momentum off this, it is just his turn to start pressuring you again, uh, which he sort of does. I'm not sure for these characters specifically, but you can also, uh, if you're really uncertain about like range situations, I think 2k, 2s is fine for both of these characters, but some characters also just want to go like 2k, 2d as your autopilot, because then you just got, you got knocked down. Got knocked yeah. down. That's good. Yep. Okay. Okay, this. This is the other thing, uh, Stare. Be very, very careful about doing Bridal Express. 
because Obro does not, but he could throw you right here. And then you get back thrown into the corner by Venom, and then you start crying, because that is not a good situation. He does try and mash out, but uh, if he had done a throw OS or a faster button, then he would have just hit you there. Questionable burst. Shoot the gun. Uh, okay, so Obro. Right here. You managed to knock Stare away, right? But instead of running forward and pressing your advantage, you stay in the corner, which even if you don't press your advantage, what you want to be doing right here is running forward and then air dashing over just so that you are away from the corner. Uh, at the very minimum as Venom in a situation like this, just like get some balls out so that you can, like if you are if you feel like you're too late to run up, you're probably not quite too late to get some balls out safely and then be able to like poke them into the opponent. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure that you do something with it. Uh, I'm assuming that 6P was like an attempted ball set or something, but yeah, so you also, so you do this, you whiff the 6P, and then you go back to down backing because you whiff something and you're like, oh no, I need to be defensive. And you do manage to poke out on the way back in, but by staying in the corner here, you are risking so much. So Elfelt in the corner, especially once she gets shotgun out, is just like, that is her win condition. I just, one more time, I want to show you how much time you had here to get out of the corner. Run it. There was... You probably could have run full screen in that amount of time. But, yeah, just something for next time. I was about to... I was thinking I hadn't seen you tel do teleport much, and there you do it. <laughs> Holy crap, I am amazed that this ball doesn't hit. That has to have, like, retracted this frame. Because that is right where it should hit, is right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because you didn't press it anymore, so it just yeah. retracted. I was, like, surprised Ooh. it wouldn't still be out on that frame. Like, I think that, that was legitimately the frame it retracted. <laughs> Oop, yep, and that is the risk of poking out against Pine. Uh, don't worry, Miles, we'll go over, like... Pine explosion starters at some point. I just want to make sure that you have some of the different chunks down first. And once you get there, that will just kind of kill people. Remember to watch for. Oh, nice tick throw. Ooh, okay, good stuff. You didn't get the right air starter, but like, you managed to get oh, the, the ball. Oh, the ball can't be hit! Correctly. Oh! What's up? Go back. Obro uh, really wanted to hit that ball, but watch. Oh, it's too far back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Please hit for a slash. <laughs> It's a it's a reasonable default to go to for Elfel. Doesn't win in every matchup. Yeah. Far but... slash is the button you go to for round start, unless you are against a character who beats your far slash, and then your go-to button for oh my god, for round start is instant air backdash pine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so real quick, uh, because this is something that's popped up a couple times, uh, stare. When you get a situation like this, here is another place to hit far slash. Is far slash, five five H hit one, and maybe bridle. Yeah. Worst case scenario, instead of six P, hit like six H, because then you get uh, stronger knockdown. Honestly, in this game in general, there's so many characters that are just built around press that green button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Green button is your space control button, and it's generally a good. It's your space control button. Mid combo and like button. if they're cl so close that you're like, oh no, my long range button would be bad here. Oh wait, it's there's a proxy close range button in this game. Yep. Pressing slash a lot is reasonable. You don't want to do it too much. It's not every situation, but it's very good on like every character almost. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what was this? Okay, so you get the reload, the which that was good. How did you get the charge shot here? I don't want to see what happened here. Or no, not the throw, the overhead. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can just 
if you hit high enough, uh, you can just get a church shot there. Neat! Alright, and yeah, good confirm to end it. Uh, I also Obro, think, uh, I think that that going... was a good, that was a very good preemptive 2D. Uh, because you did it while the pine was still being pulled, but when you see this, and you, especially if you see the toss, uh, once you see that the 2D is missing, just mash your RC button. Because if you could have PRC'd at this point, yeah. then that could have saved your ass. Uh, also, a, th a note to Miles. It's really bad on block, so you want to be careful with it, but the far slash confirm like requires you to confirm the block anyways so if you want i'm pretty sure if you want to like not immediately deal with the standing crouching hit confirm i i think far slash bridle should always hit nope so Never that's mind. the thing uh that's if you are close tragic. enough yes at max range the like even on counter hit the bridle gets blocked and then you die yeah <laughs> yeah well yeah. no at max range you should at least if it if it drops you should at uh, least at not max be far super slash range safe yeah that's true Yep. But yeah, like, that right there, that only linked because it was counter hit. Yeah. Which, it worked. But I believe that at this range, if it had been non-counter... Oh, okay. oh, no, that so wasn't counter hit. Yeah, so I think it might... Uh, no, that... Okay, that was counter hit, yeah. What, let's uh, see, let's see, I can... That was not counter hit. Yeah, you're right. I can do some math. And yeah, so the reason that this would have worked anyways is because I forgot that the far slash was sliding forward. Uh, one sec. One sec. Forgetting how the alphabet works. There we go, where's Bridal Express? Bridal Express is 14 frame startup. So... And it's negative 7, so... It'll confirm on standards with far slash. Yeah, only within the first three frames. So. Yeah. Or actually, first uh, four active four, frames. Yeah. Yeah. So no, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, no. It'd be nice if you could just give up damage to be more consistent there if you weren't sure. But nope. Okay. So I rewound a bit. Uh, just wanted to focus a little bit on right on uh, how you're controlling space with the balls here. Obro, uh, and try and look for your Oki setups. It felt like in this match, from what I remember watching, that you just didn't get the knockdown as often, but I don't know if it was because uh, instead of running the standard Oki, you were just able to get different hits. Yeah, like good Oki there, and nice 5 dust. Mm -hmm. Good ol' Wiggle Sniper. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, oh, okay, so that's what's happening. Is, Obro, as you're getting the knockdown, so 5p here, hits meaty, right? Uh, but... Stairs waking up holding faultless, so when you run up and hit 2k, you're already pushed back this far. 2d hit 1 pushes you all the way out here, and then you whiff hit 2 of 2d. Um, so, against stuff like this, what you want to do is run up and hit 2d, and then probably close slash. And then if they... Well, I don't know, close slash being such a multi-hit move, maybe not? What about it? I don't know. Uh, to deal with FD. Venom's... like So I'm saying, if you run up and hit 2k and they FD it, then I was going to say close slash, but maybe not, because the extra hits would push you out further. Be ready to... I'd say you just be ready to cancel it into something else. Yeah, fair. Like, autopiloting to a slash button is not terrible, but if they're already at the range where the FD will push them to pass close slash range, you'll, you'll far slash, which is still fine, and if they're inside of it, you just need to be really ready to cancel those hits so you don't whiff the last bit of close slash. Yep. Although... Um... I want to look at the frame data on that close slash real quick. And also, uh, against FD, I would assume yeah. that... Uh, I think it's Mad Struggle, the TK overhead. Woo! Doesn't get pushed back as far. Close slash and... is raw, negative eight. 
without whiffing the last seven active frame hit. So that's yep. really bad if you whiff that last hit. Yeah, you just yep. gotta be really ready to cancel it. Uh, but yeah, so 2k here... You can tick throw off of it, because the extra block stun gives you a little bit longer to dash, stuff like that. But so... What I'm assuming happened here is your Oki wasn't as tight, just because even when you got the setup, you got pushed out of range before you could like really apply pressure. But uh, the main thing I wanted you to focus on from here anyways was applying more pressure, since you definitely have that setup down very reliably. So that's just something to work on as you're doing that. Find, Make sure to go into training mode and just like set the dummy to FD and eventually to random block and just try and do different pressure strings against it. But yeah, I think that's going to be majority for this one. Yeah, I think so. All right. See you in the next one.